So I thought I'd take a moment to talk about NVIDIA's new series of graphics drivers. You can see it says here it's version 260.52. This is actually a beta release, but the new series is the 260 series. They've made a whole bunch of changes, so you can see the initial installation screen is actually completely different. So you go ahead and click install, you've got some options. Here's custom, so you can actually uh, choose which aspects you want to install. It used to be that you had to install your 3D Vision driver separately. Now it's actually included in the uh, in the GeForce graphics driver. So you can just say, oh, okay, I don't want an HD audio driver. Oh, and this is interesting. I'll talk a little bit more about this after. Uh, PhysX, 3D Vision. You can actually use this option to perform a clean install. So it'll just remove everything else that you previously had on your system and then reinstall this over top in a way that should uh, really reduce uh, interference from old graphics driver revisions. So that's a pretty cool feature. Let's click next. So it'll go ahead and install that, removing all the old stuff, and then it'll install the new stuff. So there's like a few big changes. First of all, it adds supports for support, adds supports, adds support for the GTS 450, which you can see is here on my test bench. GTS 450. There it is, if the camera will ever focus. And, oh, it's a beta, so it comes up with that warning. And they've also improved performance on a lot of the GeForce 400 series cards and a ton of games. You can, I mean, you can check out this page on NVIDIA.com if you want. This is one of the coolest ones, though. It actually adds HD audio output via HDMI to some GPUs, so you can see the full list here and upgrades the HD audio driver. So that's a neat feature that NVIDIA didn't have full support for in the past. It also supports playing back Blu-ray 3D discs when connected to an HDMI 1.4 3D TV. That is also very cool. All right, we've already kind of covered this. They changed the NVIDIA surround setup. So that means the, uh, the guide I did a while back won't be valid anymore, but hopefully all they've done is make it easier so I don't have to do a new guide. Added some more 3D vision ready displays. and some more 3D profiles. Upgraded the PhysX software, and I think that's most of the interesting stuff. It's just the audio bits here. So I'm just gonna move so you can read that if you don't feel like visiting nvidia.com, as well as the improvements to game performance. So let's see if that's done installing. Yep, it's done installing, so I'm gonna go ahead and restart the system, and then I'll be back with uh, my acoustic and noise, uh, acoustic and noise, acoustic and cooling performance of the reference cooler versus the cyclone cooler. So that's a separate video I'm working on right now and I just had to install the drivers to uh, get that running.